hey guys good morning so today this beautiful cloudy sunday i'm really gonna try to be productive today it took everything out of me to get out of bed this morning because sundays when it's cloudy it takes a lot to get out of bed but i like to do my cleaning and work out on sundays first things first coffee we cannot start our day without coffee i just got these nespresso pods that are um chocolate like mocha flavor they're so good it's this one it doesn't have any sweetener, like any sugar in it or anything. It just has a hint of mocha. Rich chocolate flavored. By the way, guys, these glasses, I got them from Amazon. I think I showed you guys in another vlog, but they are linked on my Amazon link. Let me actually put fresh water in here. Guys, for my coffee, I use organic milk. I don't do any of the almond milks or soy milk, oat milk, whatever. I tend to find that a lot of those have seed oils and fillers and just a bunch of junk in it. So for my coffee, I like to keep it really plain. I like to use organic milk. I don't do any sugar or any sweeteners or anything. My first coffee is for caffeine pretty much. I'm not like trying to do anything sweet or anything and I usually don't eat first thing when I wake up. I usually have a coffee and then a couple hours later I have a little something like avocado toast. Guys, so the pillows that I use for my head, I like to do a black silk pillow because at night when I go to sleep, I put like skincare on, vitamin C, all of that stuff, which transfers onto the pillow and I don't want to get it dirty. So I do black silk. My duvet is white because it usually doesn't get uh, dirty. By the way, guys, my pillowcases are from Amazon. They're linked in my Amazon link. If you guys are wondering what some of the stuff is from, just check the Amazon link because nine times out of 10, it will be there. The duvet cover isn't from Amazon. I actually think I got these from Brooklinen.
So guys, I've recently switched over to all Blue Land cleaning products. I love the fact that I can get one bottle and use it forever. It's eco-friendly, the bottles are reusable. All you have to do to refill it is use a little nickel-sized tablet inside warm water. You fill the bottle up to the top with warm water. You put the tablet in, you wait for it to dissolve. You don't need to shake it, you don't need to stir it dissolves on its own. So traditional cleaners are like five, six dollars a bottle and you will eventually have to throw the bottles away and get new ones. With Blue Land, it's so nice that you get to keep the bottle forever and the tablets are a lot more cost effective. They save time, space, money. I got the Clean Essentials Hand Soap Duo. I love how sleek the packaging is. I love that all of the bottles match each other. They're color coordinated. The nozzle and the bottle match each other. I really didn't like the bulky mismatched cleaners and I feel that this saves so much space and it just looks so much better. The tablets have no harmful ingredients. They're all clean, safe ingredients. It's actually EPA Safer Choice certified. Also side note guys, Blue Land was featured on Shark Tank which is really cool. I actually went and checked out the clip on YouTube and it's a really, really great product. If you guys want to try Blue Land for yourself, make sure you click the link in my description box for 15% off your first kit. guys so it is a little bit later i am just getting ready I'm getting a little bit hungry so i'm gonna make a little breakfast well i guess my breakfast i always have my first meal like a couple hours after i wake up not intentionally i'm just naturally not crazy hungry when i wake up in the morning i usually just want coffee and i'm good i am gonna have avocado toast this morning For some reason the avocados that i got this time they're a lot smaller than usual typically when i get like i get these bag of avocados and they're medium sized so I usually have half an avocado, but these ones are really, really small. So I think I'm going to have the whole one. For my bread, I like to do half of a pita bread. I showed you guys this on another vlog where mama brought me a whole bunch of um, pita bread that I freeze and I'm running low. So I need to <laughs> stock up more. I use uh, this bread because a lot of breads that you find in the stores are not the best. There are a few, there are some, but I really love this one. So I'm just going to toast half of this. We just toasted our pita bread and this is just half of the pita bread. I made them smaller so they fit in the toaster. Ooh, you guys, I can feel that it's going to be a good avocado. Watch, watch, watch. You know it's a good day when your avocado looks good. Hold on. You guys. Tell me this is not a perfect avocado. Whew. I don't know why I remembered this, but anytime I'm cutting in front of Baba, he's like, let me cut it for you. You're going to cut your hands. I'm like, Baba, I'm not four. I just slice them really thin. Put them on the pita bread. Just like that. I'm not making this the prettiest, I'll be honest with you guys. <laughs> I top it off with salt and pepper. I use pink Himalayan salt. Guys, don't be afraid of sea salt, pink Himalayan salt. It is so, so good for you. It has electrolytes, minerals. It helps with water retention. 
Avoid table salt. The salt that we're not supposed to eat is like table salt, refined salt, the salt that you find in canned foods, but sea salt, pink Himalayan salt is so, so good for you. So I try to do sea salt whenever I can. I prefer the pink Himalayan and pepper. I feel like I made it too salty. I was talking to you guys. Anyways, here it is what it looks like. Now you can add chili flakes, garlic powder, whatever your heart desires. Today I am not trying to do too much. This sounds good to me today. Or eggs. I'm going to work out in a little bit and I try to not get too, too full before that because then I can't. I can't like really work out. And I like the pita bread to be super toasted and crunchy. I like the crunch when I bite it. <laughs> Guys, so I just got a bunch of workout clothes that I'm going to try on. They're from this brand, Second Left. I forgot what I ordered, to be honest. I always forget what I ordered. Oh, this is cute. I like to do like a sports bra and leggings by the way i always get the comment of my body is tanner than my face that's because i tan my body but i don't tan my face because sun exposure to your face gives you wrinkles and stuff so i try to avoid it so unless i do my full makeup like bronzer and contour and everything i my face looks lighter than my body but i would rather have that than wrinkles you know what i'm saying so yeah, that's why. I also got a beige set. I So I don't have any sets that are beige. I don't know how it's gonna be working out in a lighter set, but I think it's so beautiful. I don't have any cream colored. I also got the matching top. I think this is the one sleeve, was it? No. I also got a black uh, sports bra, the triangle sports bra. I have a bunch of black leggings, so I could just pair it with this. This is actually a bit smaller than I would have hoped. <sighs> it might be too small. It might stretch, though. We'll see. We'll see. We'll make it work. Maybe with a jacket or something. Okay, let me try these on for you guys to see. But this is the red set. It looks really orange on camera. I love the base set, you guys. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I made you guys too high. <laughs> I probably wouldn't work out in this. Sweating in a white or base set may not be the best. I think the sports bras are nice and supportive. I'm gonna wear the red one to the gym today. I'm gonna fill up my water really quick. Then we're gonna head out. Oh my god, my Coke Zero. You guys, I am so good on everything but Coke Zero. I like it. I've reduced it. I've reduced it. I drink like one a day, but yeah, we've reduced it. Okay. So usually on Sundays, I like to take Pilates, but I feel like I always take you guys to Pilates. So gonna do the gym today. I actually kind of miss the gym and maybe doing both Pilates and uh, going to the gym because for the last few months I've been just doing strictly Pilates which I really really love but I kind of want a little bit of both. I do really enjoy having a class and an instructor. I feel like when I am at the gym, I, I tend to do the same things over and over again. Um, yeah, so I don't know, we'll see.
guys so we are back that was a good workout i i do prefer my classes more i do like doing the 12 3 30 when i go to the gym i like cardio i like putting music on and just uh doing the incline walking on the treadmill but i definitely prefer a class with someone telling me what to do and a bunch of people so usually after i work out i have a protein shake if i can get to my house fast if i'm not going to a class or something i make a little protein yogurt thing it is so good so i love greek yogurt i always keep it in the house this is the one that i use such a great source of protein barely any carb and it's something that you can dress up like you could put protein powder in it you can have it with fruit honey whatever whatever floats your boat i'm gonna show you guys this uh protein bowl that i make that i really really love so the protein that i use i got a lot of questions about the protein that i use from my last video so i got a bunch of flavors so this brand is literally called just ingredients i went searching for a protein powder because a lot of them have seed oils a lot of them have stuff so this one was a pretty good one that i found it has really really clean ingredients got a bunch of flavors i have the chocolate flavor vanilla flavor i kind of wanted to try i got like the samples too because i wanted to try all of the flavors so here is everything that i'm going to be using for my protein yogurt bowl if you guys don't have protein it's totally okay you could just use a little bit more yogurt and mix it with the honey to make it sweeter because greek yogurt is not that sweet so for this i'm gonna be using unsweetened coconut shreds uh, dark chocolate honey raspberries i like them frozen and of course our yogurt okay so first i'm gonna put some yogurt in my bowl i got these from amazon i thought they would be a little bit bigger but this is what we're working with they're super cute though i like it it's nice for dessert and i just eyeball it depending on how much i want to eat how hungry i am you can also have this for dessert you guys but it's a nice post-workout meal too because it's super high in protein and the trick to this is to mix it like this so it becomes a lot smoother until it's like a whipped texture then i go ahead and put a little bit of the protein powder in it this is the one that i'm gonna be using if you guys don't have protein powder you can just put honey in it right now just to make it a little bit sweeter i'm gonna be using the protein powder whip it some more okay so after you mix it this is what it's gonna be looking like now we do the toppings i'm gonna put coconut shreds I do about one spoon just like that I'll put it there then i will take some raspberries Put them on the other side, just like that. Then I take one chocolate square, it's this one. So I do one about this size. is what it looks like so far then i just top it off with honey just a little drizzle for sweetness so here is what our protein yogurt bowl is looking like i like using the coconut shreds because i feel that the fat from that keeps you fuller longer and the raspberries for sweetness if you guys want to do another fruit sometimes i do blueberries sometimes strawberries it just depends i love chocolate so dark chocolate i guess is the best option honey is also really good for you and the proteins from the yogurt and the protein powder really helps keep you full okay so let's try it 
I don't think I could eat the whole thing right now. I'll probably eat like half and go shower <laughs> and then eat the half after. Guys, this is so good. I sometimes have it for dessert at night if I'm craving something sweet. The dark chocolate and the coconut taste like an almond joy. Mm. And the honey, I'm telling you guys, I don't want it to spill, but it's so, so yummy. This is your new dessert. Hey guys, so it is a little bit later. I actually took a quick shower and I ran to Sephora before they closed. I got a whole bunch of stuff from there. I think I'm gonna do a TikTok on the stuff that I got. Have my TikTok up here if you guys wanna go check that out. But I'll quickly show you guys just a couple things. Oh, I stocked up on my favorite lip liner. Charlotte Tilbury um, Iconic Nude. I always have it on my lips. I feel like I always wear this and then I switch my uh, lipstick or lip gloss, but this is a staple. Uh, I switched up my fragrance, you guys. So I've been wearing the YSL Black Opium for so long, but I love the smell, so I'm trying it out. I got like the medium size just in case I get tired of it or whatnot. I'll do a TikTok for you guys. If you guys want to go check that out i'm about to make a quick dinner so for my dinner i either get something while i'm out i make something at home or a day like today where i don't feel like cooking and i didn't want to eat out i usually have a factor meal these ones i just heat them up so i'm about to have dinner and relax for the rest of my sunday i think we did pretty good I think I deserve a little TV show and some <laughs> relaxation today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you next time. Bye loves. Me and my girls done pulled up. You know what we gonna do. I took two shots of the liquor. One more round just on you. You like her. I'm moving. Keep moving. Be like them boys, them sugar. But I got my eye on you You know my body Calling for you To come and dance upon it, boy